hello everyone this is santosh and welcome to tech design so in this video i'm going to show you how we can make this model in a part modeling workbench so there is a little bit of a different approach we need to follow in order to complete this model because as you can see here uh, there are two pipes and they are combining into a single pipe so this model we are going to do it in a part modeling and now you can see we also have a drawing for this this is a drawing and all the dimensions are given in mm so we can able to do it by using these dimensions so now let's get started with this model So I'll just go to new file. I'll just keep it as model and I'll just click on OK. And once we are into a 3D modeling workbench, so now if you go to the drawing, you can see here, uh, there are a circles here, okay, 20 diameter, 25 diameter. And also you can see here, this is 15 diameter and as well as 11 diameter so all these uh, circles i'm going to create it on a single plane so that it will be easy for us to make an extrude so i'll just go to sketcher in a moment and we have four circles so i'm going to draw four circles here so once you draw a circles so we'll just provide a dimensions so the first is going to be 20 and then we have 25 okay and then we have 15 and there is a one more which is last one that is 11 mm okay so these are the four circles we need on one plane so i'll just go to finish the sketch so now let's fit this and now if you see here the drawing uh, whatever the 20 mm diameter is having 4 mm of uh, extrude and then the 25 mm will have a extrude of 9 mm from 4 mm distance so now let's do that so i'll just go to extrude and select this dimension a uh, diameter so select this diameter and select this circle and then the distance is going to be 4 mm and i'll just click apply so now i'm going to select the outer circle and now you can see the drawing it starts from 4 mm and it is still 9 mm so the start distance is going to be 4 and the end distance is going to be 9 okay so we can just unite this with this body and you can just click ok so once this is done, uh, now you can see here, from here it is going to deviate onto both sides. So in order to achieve this, we need to do the combined projection curve. So we are going to make two curves and then we are going to combine it into a single curve. So let us do that. So, so now what I'm going to do is in one profile, I'm going to make this center line. You can see this is the L shape of center line I'm going to do. And in the another view, I'm going to make this slanted line. Okay. And then we are going to combine this. So I'm going to do it and uh, then you can able to understand. So I'll just go to sketch on this plane. Okay. So now as you can see here, uh, this is the profile I'm going to do 30 mm and this distance is 62 mm okay so let's go to line and select it from here okay so this distance is going to be 62 okay and this distance is going to be 30 and then there is a radius here you can see this is radius of 20 so we are going to create a fillet here so go to fillet this is going to be 20 mm okay so this is the simple profile we need on one of the plane so i'm going to finish this so now uh, we need to go to the profile we need to go to the plane in which perpendicular to this sketch so i'm going to go to sketch on this plane now okay which is perpendicular so in this plane i'm going to create 
this profile so as you can see here this is 32 mm distance and this is 62 mm distance and there is a fillet of radius 20 so now let me go to line here and I'm going to draw a simple line as well as this slanted line okay so this distance is going to be 32 which is given in the drawing and then there is a distance from this point to this it is going to be 20 so now you can see here this 20 distance is over here you can see this 20 distance and then the dimension from this point to this is going to be 62 mm okay and then there is a fillet here so i'm going to give a fillet of radius 20 okay so this is the one more profile we need it on another plane okay so now these are the two different curves we have in order to make it as a combined projection so now as you can see here in this plane this is the one profile and in this plane this is the one profile so we are going to combine it so how we are going to do we'll just go to menu insert derived curves and combined projection so here i'm going to select one curve and this is going to be my second curve so now in order to combine this it has to project on the opposite direction so we are going to make it opposite direction this is also we are going to make it opposite direction so now this is going to combine to each other so we'll just click on ok so now let me hide this sketch and this sketch so this is the combined projection curve whatever we have got ok so now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to make a swept for this particular cylinder or circle along this path. So we'll just go to surface and select the swept. And here I'm going to select a single curve. This is the curve I need. And the guide curve is going to be this guide curve. So once this is done, uh, we have to select a solid here. If you select a sheet, it will be empty inside. So we are going to select a solid here in the settings and we'll just click on OK. So similarly, we have to do it on the right side also. So either you can create a same sketches and again you can do combined projection and do it or you can also do the combined projection curves. You can able to mirror it on the other side and you can do or else already swept body you can able to mirror it so i'm going to mirror the swept now so i'll just go to mirror feature and select this swept and my plane is going to be this and you can just click ok so this is the profile what we got and now what we are going to do is we are going to unite these two so these two are different different bodies and this is also a different body so we are going to unite everything in a single body so i'm going to select this this and this so now let's click on OK. So this is the profile we have got and now we have this particular profile on this plane. So we are going to do it now. So I'll just go to sketcher on this plane. And let me reverse this click on OK. And here if you see the drawing you can see here there is a circle of 4.5 diameter and there is one more big circle which is of 10 diameter and there is one more circle which is of radius 13 which is the diameter is going to be 26 so i'm going to draw those circles so let me go to circle here first circle and this is going to be my second circle and the third circle is going to be at the center of this so this is going to be here so this is the diameter of 26 okay so this is going to be 9 sorry 4.5 and this is going to be 10 diameter and uh, these two should be concentric so I'm going to make it as concentric So now the distance from this point to this is going to be 62. So this horizontal distance is going to be 66 divided by 2. So I'm going to make it as 
from this to this it is going to be 66 divided by 2 okay okay so now uh, we are going to mirror all these curves on the right side also so now we'll just go to mirror and select this curve this curve and this my center line is going to be this click on okay so now we need to join these two circles so just go to line and select this line similarly we'll just this join these two so now i want to trim this so we'll just go to trim and whatever the extra lines are there we are going to trim it so now as you can see here all the things are trimmed properly and now we have a fillet here which is a radius of 5 so we'll just go to fillet and 5 radius select these two these two and here also it has come okay so now we'll just trim this line as well so we'll just go to trim line okay so now this is the profile complete profile we have and you, you can notice that whenever we give a complete uh, you know dimensions and trim the extra lines so it is going to convert it into a unconstrained curves okay i'm not sure whether it is a bug or something because uh, this should not happen so anyway we'll just proceed with the model now so i'll just cut to finish this and now as you can see here whatever this l shape curve we have taken it up to 30 mm so whatever this 5 mm we have to make it inside okay so we'll just go to extrude and make it as 0 to 5 mm and it should be inside okay so it should not be outside so inside so we'll just click on okay so once this is done um, now as you can see here we have almost done whatever the extrude that is required for us so now it is time to remove the material so always it is uh, recommended to first add the material where it is required and then finally we just need to remove the extra material so whatever inside the tube is there so we are going to remove the material so for that what i'm going to do is i am going to make a swept so we'll just go to surface and select the swept and in this time i'm going to select this smaller circle which is of diameter 11 so now my guide curve is going to be my combined curve okay so this is going to be my guide curve okay so we'll just clip on okay and then i am going to make a mirror of this particular swept okay so let's go to home mirror feature and select this swept my plane is going to be this plane and you can just click okay so now we have to subtract the material so we'll just go to subtract material and select this body in the tool body i'm going to select swept and i'm going to select mirror feature both the features and now we'll just click on ok so once this is done uh, we have few fillets and as well as chamfers so this you can see here radius of 5 so we'll just go to edge blend and the 5 is the radius and you can just select this edge click on ok and then now you can see the drawing here it is chamfer with the one degree sorry one mm and 45 degree and here also it is same and at this point it is two mm 45 degree so we'll just provide it now so we'll just go to chamfer and here it is one mm and 45 degree i'm going to select this edge and this edge and also inside okay so click on apply and now we have 2 mm so click on 2 and select this particular edge
so we also have a inside fillet here 3 mm and 45 degree so we'll just go to chamfer so this time it is 3 mm and we are going to select this edge so now as you can see here this model is completed so hit ctrl w and hide all your datum planes curves sketches so only you can keep a solid body so now if you see the drawing it is properly done if you have any doubts or questions on this model please let me know in the comment section i will try to answer thank you guys